is Red and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new command creation for you and since the big command was bigger than the command block character limit, I had to split it in two parts. Therefore, you'll need two command blocks to generate the machine. But anyways, today's one command creation adds modern bedroom simulator. No, what am I saying? Add modern bedroom furniture into your vanilla Minecraft world. So uh, to get started and import this machine into your world, all you have to do is to give yourself a command block through this command slash give at p command underscore block hit enter and then place two command blocks one on top of the other like i'm doing then you'll have to paste the first command in the bottom command block you'll find all the commands that i used in this video in the video description there's a link if you click it you'll be forwarded to my webpage where you can find the commands so first command in the bottom command block second command in the top command block there we go then all you have to do you have to activate only the bottom command block not the top only the bottom the top one will be activated automatically by the rest of the machine so the machine will be generated in just a few seconds as it always did and there you go this command in my opinion adds the best furniture that i have ever made so stay prepared because there's some really really unique pieces of furniture so as you can see here this command works in minecraft 1.9 and 1.10 there's also another link in the video description where you can find the command for minecraft 1.11 make sure that you take the command for the right minecraft version otherwise the commands will not work so here at the bottom you'll have two signs that will allow you to activate or deactivate the machine temporarily and if you right click this uh, sign here on the top you'll get all the crafting recipes now let me see if i remember them if not i'll have to right click that sign again anyways i'm here in my imaginary uh, house well it's just a room but you know for demonstration purposes i had to build this really quickly and the first crafting recipe allows you to create some different beds you know minecraft beds they're they're nice but i wanted to make something more modern and of course that looks nicer you'll have to take some uh, black wool 10 pieces okay there we go and then some uh, quartz slabs one and two quartz slabs then you drop them on, together on the ground and you'll get a bad item. So I place one here and one here because of course we want to have uh, two beds even if I'm just one person. The first thing that you can do, of course you can see that we have the pillow, we have the blankets and everything and they also look really really cozy and comfy. So the first thing that you can do if you right click while looking here under the pillow, boom, you'll be able to sit on your bed and also in the other one let's see if i can find the invisible horse not a, nope i can't find it okay anyways there we go you can sit on it and um well that's it you can sit on them uh and another cool thing another cool feature that i wanted to add is that if you take some other wool blocks let's take a uh this time white wool and brown wool and also a slime i'll show it to you what you can do with these items if you drop them in the right hand side of the bed here you will be able to generate some little plushies so as you can see here we have a slime plush and uh, if you drop a white wool you'll be able to place this is a panda plushie and a brown wool come on there we go to place a teddy bear and yeah so i'll just stick with the panda and the slime because i like them so you know this room looks a bit too empty so let's craft some bedside tables you can craft them by taking two stone buttons one two and a quartz block so you'll have to drop them on ground of course and you'll be able to craft a bedside table spawn egg then you use it boom and boom and you can see that we generated these really really nice uh, bedside tables now again as i did with the bed you can place some stuff on them if you take a clock let's take it and a torch torch come on uh you'll be able to place them on the bedside tables so if you drop a torch you see that a little candle appears and if you drop a clock you'll have an alarm clock on the bedside table Pretty cool, isn't it? So if you want to remove these pieces of furniture, it is really simple. For the bed, you'll have to break this uh, quartz block here and you'll get the wool back. And of course, then if you mine them in survival mode, you'll get your slabs again and then you can craft the bed again. Then the bedside tables, it is really simple. You take a lever, so place them in the anvil, name them remove, take them. And if you drop it, boom, you'll get your bedside table back. 
Now I'll leave these in my inventory because I'll be able to remove other pieces of furniture with them later. The third crafting recipe allows you to create a working wardrobe. So what you'll have to do, you'll have to take two pistons, one, two, and some banners. I think that it was six. Let me see. Let me see if I remember it. Six and two. Yeah, and you'll be able to craft a wardrobe. You can place it, uh, for example, here it is wide, three blocks wide. So let me place two of them. As you can see, they look really, really modern. I really love how it turned out. And there's a cool thing about this wardrobe. As I said, they are working wardrobes. So the first thing that you'll have to do, take a stone button. And if you look up, you see that these banners here on the, at the top will disappear. And you can place a button here and a button here, a stone button to be precise. And if you right click it, you'll be able to open the wardrobe doors. And if you click it again, you'll be able to close them. If you're looking up, you see that they disappear, so you'll be able to see the uh, button. So, uh, let me open it. And uh, here there are some invisible armor stands that you can use to hold your armor. So, let me take a couple of armor pieces and uh, boom. If you go here and you right click, you'll be able to place them on the invisible armor stands. There are a total of 5 armor stands per wardrobe. Boom, really, really simple. If you're done with it, you can close it and you'll have all of your clothes in your uh, really nice wardrobe. Okay, let me close it. Then the next crafting recipe allows you to create some TVs. Sadly, they're not working TVs. If you want, there's a tutorial that I made on how to make working TVs. I leave a card uh, here in this part of the video. If you want, you can click it and you can watch that video. But anyways, let's continue with the crafting recipes. You need to take some black glass, exactly six pieces of st black stained glass and two blocks of redstone. You drop them together and boom, you'll get a TV egg. Now, uh, this TV thing is a bit uh, special, so if you place a one egg, you see that you can craft a TV, you can, uh, sorry, you can place a TV, but the cool thing about this is that it is extendable, so if you place another egg, you can extend the TV, you can make it bigger, let me see if I can find the hitbox of the blocks, let's place another one here, and oops, I did a mistake, anyways, okay, let's extend it a bit more. So as you can see, I have a really, really huge TV screen, it looks like... I'm in a cinema right now. Uh, perfect, if you want to remove the TV, let's place one here. Let's take our really useful levers. You drop one here and you'll be able to get your TV. If you place more TVs in the same wall, let's say that you do something like that, and you see that some pieces don't disappear, just drop the lever again uh, near them and you'll be able to remove all of the parts of the TVs. Okay, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you how to remove wardrobes. All you have to do, you have to destroy this block here in the middle at the bottom. Boom, and you get your spoon egg back. Again, if you place more wardrobes, for example, if you remove first the wardrobe at the right hand side, it will disappear normally, boom and boom. But if you remove the left one first and then the right one, you, you will see that it doesn't remove all of the pieces. So as you can see here, these pieces didn't disappear. Don't worry because you'll be able to remove them using this lever. So you drop it near the pieces that you want to remove. Boom, and there we go. Then the fifth and last crafting recipe for this command will make you able to craft some ceiling fans. How do you do that? Simple, one, two, three pistons, and then some black banners. Banners, one, two, three black banners. Drop them together again. Come on, Q. And you'll be able to craft a ceiling fan. How do you place the ceiling fan? Well, it's uh, pretty straightforward. You have to place it on the ceiling, of course. And there we go, you'll have an animated ceiling fan. If you get far from it, it will stop, so to avoid uh, additional lag if you're not in the area of the ceiling fan, if you are in a 20 blocks radius from it, it will start to rotate again. To remove them, simply destroy the block where it is uh, placed. Also, you can place them on half slabs and on normal blocks as well. If you place them on normal blocks, they'll, they'll be exactly really, really close to the ceiling itself. That was it, guys, about this command creation. Let me sit on my really, really comfortable bed and watch some TV. And uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If, if you did so, don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up under this video. It took me about probably eight or nine hours to make it. I'm really, really proud of this one. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, I'll leave you here. And I'll see you all, guys, tomorrow with a new episode of Minecraft Theory. So stay tuned. See you all tomorrow. Bye.